all right good morning everyone happy friday i'm in my home office today it is friday february 18th so today i want to make this video uh tailored to more of the people that are thinking about selling their property and what we do to sell your property fast and easy and smooth and with a lot of money back into your pocket so without further ado i'm just gonna dive straight into it i do apologize if you see my dog messing around and wanting to play with the ball uh, and if you hear her so anyways yeah she's gonna be going up and down so again i apologize in advance i am in my home office i'm not at my regular office just because i felt like working from home today but anyways here here we go let me dive into it so we i am part of the mls right so flex mls i mean there's some areas that are uh you know they use flex mls uh, i guess it's a system that our our offices use out here which the office here will be gavar which will be the greater Anno valley association of realtors out here i'm also part of the mls which is uh the los angeles one but this one's awesome because it actually let's us see the entire state of california who's part of vesta plus software so uh, but so i and also i'm part of pro mls which um which will be up a little bit about an hour north from here so ridgecrest that area uh so when i do put your house on the market it goes to these three specific markets I should be part of, uh, what do you call it? There's another South, South, uh, Southland MLS, I, I believe it's called, which will be like Santa Clarita area. But I noticed that Vesta Plus, uh, or the MLS actually promotes in that area also. So I'm like, why would I spend twice the money when, you know, more people will see it here? Than opposed to the, the other one so and flex MLS does not share data with the MLS so that's the only reason why I would have to put them on these both uh, put your house on both of these markets and also on pro MLS they do not share excuse me all right so let me get right into it so you're probably wondering what we do to sell your property so here I pulled up I already had this property um, on this system that we use here with exp so let's just assume this is your property so what i do let's say we we put it on the market today right so here we have a few options like if i already have specific buyers that are looking for a two bedroom one bathroom house at 700 square feet in quartz hill you know on the west side right what i'll do at this point is i'll send them a text here it's very quick and easy uh, most likely i already set them up on a drip campaign for what they are specifically looking at so they'll probably see it before i do if i'm out door knocking or you know what have you if i'm doing appointments so that's why i like setting up my buyers with drip campaigns because you know again they have the opportunity to see it before i do so here like let's just assume i'm sending it to uh I don't know why I put K. I'm thinking about my assistant right now. So let's say none of these are my assistant. I honestly don't know who this is, but let's just assume this is a buyer that's looking for it. I can do a quick canned response uh, on here, like, hey, you know, uh, for buyer, it's been a while, you know, and it here it sends the text. And then the listing so it'll send them actually this this text with their name and then another text with the listing like hey I think you might enjoy this one but let's just assume you know we're just sending the listing let's get out of this yes I'm sure so it already has it on there I just got to choose who it is and press send all right so and also I can send it via email if I have their emails already which is pretty cool I love this system it makes you know it will, it's still pretty hard to understand sometimes I mean when you first start off everything's hard to understand 
but you know eventually once you start using it more and more you get uh, very proficient at it so also like let's say if I you know tomorrow I listed this house yesterday and tomorrow I'm gonna go door knock I could print some flyers already ready and then just go out and door knock and ask any of the neighbors or if they're if they know anybody interested that's looking to purchase in their neighborhood right so I generate a QR code you know for those techies out there uh, hashtags is more of like a a lead capture on here is not more so for for you guys is more for lead capture um, I could post from Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Craigslist. And what I like about this is when I choose Craigslist, it lets me decide uh, which areas I want to post this on. So let's just say we're in the Animal Valley Court Sale. So I go to Court Sale and it does it very quickly. And I put publish, boom, done. So I'll get an email saying, hey, did you want to post this? I, I go log on to my email put log on to Craigslist and it posts it automatically. So it's like a process that I go through on a daily basis to find a buyer for your specific house. Right? So and right now, you know, how the crazy how the crazy market is going, uh it's very simple for us to find a buyer. We already get buyers uh, uh, right now. Like I get about I don't know, let's say minimum 2 to 3 buyers a day just contacting me about you know how they're able to purchase a property now all that stuff what have you if we're running ads on properties then you know we get more buyers through there so realistically speaking i get about 300 uh new leads every single month and out of those 300 we get about like one, one to five people that are interested to purchase now so you know i'm working on converting the ratios uh, for a lot higher uh, but again it's all work and it's just a grind at this point so anyways and let's say again uh, I want to run ads this is one way we run ads on your house so I'll boost the property so what this does is it creates an ad on a Facebook already so here you see the ad right normally i don't display the price because a lot of people uh, especially buyers think the ones that don't know right uh, just start assuming things like oh that's too much money for the house or whatever like i wouldn't buy like i don't want no negative you know okay no, but <laughs> i don't want no negative uh feeling towards the house i want them to feel positive i want them to ask questions so i take I do not display the price, although I've had some uh, people like, oh, you should always put the price, that way we know, like, no, I kind of want you to reach out to me and ask me how much it is and if you could come see it, that's what I want, right? That's what lead capturing is, so, um, anyway, so here, you know, let's say I'm doing an open house Sunday, I can start promoting it, you know, promote your listing for this week for this weekend for seven days i can do that uh for 21 days i can do that or for four weeks i can do that also so let's say let's say right now the market is moving very fast normally i choose 151 regardless of the situation whether we get an offer by monday or not so this is the one i choose mostly this one not so much because by by week four that should your house should already be an escrow realistically speaking right now like honestly if i got a listing yesterday i'll put it most likely have a, a few offers and we'll get it accepted by tuesday so so th this is one way we get um leads through and we run ads uh also we do let me show you here we go so we can build a landing page for your specific house here we do a website so I, I do the entire website here so let's go back so this is what I do I just copy this paste it well it, it won't look like that I promise you uh, let's see find out how you can purchase this house today
and then here I'll put like some key points about what the market is doing, right? Um, or what the house ha has specifically. So I have four points that I can um, that I can use to capture that lead and say, okay, I really do want to see this house or whatever the case might be, right? So, um, you know, if we have a price re reduction, which we won't have unless you honestly believe your house is worth you know 600,000 but 650 but the market is saying it's only worth 590 then at that point we would have to do a price reduction because that's what the market is saying it's not what we say is not what anybody says is literally what the market says what your property is worth uh, that's why if you notice right now a lot of price reductions is because sellers think they can get there which they can if they wait for the market to get there but some sellers don't have the time so that's why they do the price reduction so well is what we're seeing now uh, price reductions could be for, for a plethora of things so anyway so I'll put a few uh, characteristics of the property two bedroom one house one house <laughs> two bedroom one bathroom house 700 square feet what have you in a prime location in quartz hill you know with vaulted ceilings, you know, quartz countertops, fully renovated bathroom, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. And then I like to throw in certain uh, like urgency points to the buyers. Like, hey, you know, interest rates are going up. They've been going up since last February of 2021. Uh, here's a... And normally, if I do capture their their cell phone and all that, I send them a, a quick, uh, what do you call it, a quick uh, snapshot of what the market has been doing. And let me see if I can share this on here. Let's see. There we go. All right. So let me just move this around. All right, so, and this was a, a snapshot on this day. So if you notice on a 30 year fixed rate, uh, since the third, this is seven days and the market has been going up. It hasn't gone down. We were at 3.73% on the third and now we're at 4.2. So the market is increasing. The Fed did say they're increasing the, the rates this year around three times and by the end of the year it could potentially be back at four percent but it seems to me that we're already there so I'm curious to know where it's gonna be at the end of the year now so again for the people that are watching this and are looking to buy you're wasting time honestly uh, the the it, interest rates is what affects your purchasing power so that's why we're seeing a, a, a fluctuation of uh, buyers right now coming into the market which is why you will want to sell if you're looking to sell because we want to capture them. We want to put your house in front of as many eyes as possible to get as many offers as we can. And that is how we get you the most money uh, on your property and we sell it quickly. And we also get to, to, to dictate what we want to do as far as uh, the sell process goes. Um, so don't ever think you're gonna be homeless or none of that like we literally got you covered on the contract and i can show you exactly where and i'm very vocal very transparent when it comes to that stuff and if you have any questions like i sit there until you understand it so and if it's something that i don't understand which uh, honestly it's uh, impossible right now because i kind of know this game <laughs> Uh, but if I do not understand some things, I do find out who understands it better than me and I ask some questions and once I understand it, then I can give that information back to you, which you will understand. And my goal throughout working with my clients is, you know, if you're not able to understand the real estate game by the time I'm done with you, then I didn't do a very good job like i like when i hear my clients say oh i should get into real estate i understand it now all that stuff not tell them like do it like you should at least do it you know once in your life so and i'm happy to share all that information with you guys but anyways this is one of the systems i would log into facebook but right now facebook has been weird i don't really log into facebook a lot so 
but let's just assume um, I can't log in to Facebook. I can post through my system here at Facebook, and our here's another ad. So this is not besides property boost. This is a whole different ad. Excuse me, that's posted on my on my uh, Facebook post here, and then from my Facebook, I go to my ads manager and I and I do a whole ad on this property it's already done for me and I just boost it right and I also do Instagram TikTok all that stuff so um, let's see and then you're probably wondering oh but who takes the pictures all that stuff right so Oro Nado Media are good friends of mine uh, awesome people freaking Robert is amazing I've seen him grow from his uh, uh, you know he's he didn't start with us he started with another team another big team out here shout out to thomas palauskas y'all doing amazing things over there um uh, and this is not him though i don't think it is but uh coronado media is uh, a good friend of mine uh, robert coronado he's actually growing his business also and he's he's becoming well known out here so he not only does awesome photography, he does videography, he does micro and macro content for all the various social media platforms that we have out here uh, and available and all the new ones that are coming up that we have to be in the know because we don't want to stay, uh, we want to stay relevant realistically speaking because we don't know who's going to purchase your property. It could be, you know, someone that's you know middle age or it could be a young cat that's just that has money at that point and then loves your house and wants to put in an offer right so we don't limit ourselves for who's going to purchase a property we actually want a lot of people looking at your property so that's exactly why uh i do these things right this is why i sell the properties because we don't know who it is and we don't want to limit ourselves but anyways, um, yeah, Coronado Media, we do, I do 3D touring, um, which is awesome. I can't say everyone else does it. I don't, I don't see why people don't do it. It's pretty, actually pretty cool. Uh, let me get off, let's see. Let me see. So this is what I use to do 3D tours. It's pretty cool. Let me see if I can log in. I'm not sure if it's on this one. Show you. And I know we're, what, 16, 18 minutes in? And thank you. But thank you so much for, if you're still watching this video, I appreciate you. Um, again, yeah, I don't have it on this one. Cheers with the coffee. Drinking some uh, Costa Rican coffee right now. All right, so here are a few 3D tours that you know I did with my brother, and this is I did all of this. I did all of this, and you also get the like the actual. Like how it will look I don't, I don't know how to explain that so, so bear with me on that but you get like the, the 3d model of it uh, so yeah so we take the pictures Let's see there's my old logo and then we go into it you can see the garage we go back out and yes this takes time and it's extensive and we just want to get it right so when people see it they can look like if they're standing right there and i position the camera specifically at like you know five nine my height because you know i'm an average height so you can see my old seller there larry if you're watching this how you doing larry i hope you and the family are doing great but here's the um here's the living room we go into the little hall right here right so and then you got the bedrooms the bathroom and then the kitchen so anyways a quick little little 
show how that looks and how we do it so we do the 3d touring uh we run the ads and all that so and we stay like hungry and motivated so uh, for you guys that are watching this right now, if, if that's something that you're looking for, if you're looking for an agent that's hungry, to, that can sell your house, that will give you enough time, all that, that's not just looking to just make the quick sell. Like, I actually love building relationships with my clients. I think I have an awesome relationship with all of my clients. Uh, I can't say that I don't. <laughs> so... If that's something that you're looking for in a real estate professional, then please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to come over and we can chat and go over a few questions that you may have. And then at the end of the day, you're going to make that decision. You know, I'm not going to try to sell you or hard close you or anything, although I can, but I'm not going to because I do feel like, you know, people just do things at their time, especially now I've learned that in this industry. So I'm like, okay, let's, Let's try something new. Let's do, you know, I just really do want to build relationships with you guys. So anyways, um, I'm, I'm not sure where I'm posting this, but if you're watching this, thank you guys so much for your time. And I hope you reach out to me. I'll put whatever description out here with my information on it. And then we'll, we'll just stay in contact. Anyways, you guys have a blessed Friday and I'll talk to you guys later.